When publishing changes, so does society. The impacts of the printing press and social media on social movements and activism. So we're going to step back into time to 1450 to meet this guy, Johannes Gutenberg in Germany. Gutenberg invented the revolutionary printing press, which allowed the wide reproduction and distribution of literature. The printing press evenly printed ink onto paper or cloth, and from this it has been called one of the most influential events in human history. The printing press allowed what Elizabeth Eisenstein calls mass decimation, or large-scale information circulation. Mass decimation led to Eisenstein's notion of a knowledge explosion. The printing press allowed the spread of literature and literate people, the preservation of ideas and a growing hunger for knowledge. From this hunger from news, monthly gazettes turned into weekly papers and weekly turned into daily. Secularisation took place in which societies began to move away from religious orientation with the news at the Sunday Mass shifting to the news from the Sunday paper. This secularisation gave way for social movements. One of these movements was the Protestant Reformation, which ended the power of the church in many parts of Western Europe. The Reformation started from this guy, Martin Luther. In October 31st, 1517, Martin Luther nailed his 95 Thesis to the door of All Saints Church in Wittenberg, Germany. This sparked what would be the Protestant Reformation. Luther highlighted several theological errors and church abuses that were common before the Reformation. These criticisms of the church gained significance and were adopted around Europe. As quoted by Martin Luther on the printing press's ability to distribute ideas, the printing press is God's highest and ultimate gift of grace by which he would have his gospel carried forward. The message of the Reformation was spread by pamphlets and broadsheets produced by printing press machines across Europe and were read aloud in public spaces for those who were illiterate. People began to question their religious beliefs and the legitimacy of the Pope and the Church's practices. When the Reformation was implemented in areas, the status of these priests and religious hierarchies were removed and Church's material wealth was either confiscated or destroyed. This social movement would not have been possible without the invention of the printing press. The printing press's exciting innovative qualities and ability to promote social movements can relate to a more recent publication to technology from the 21st century social media. Since the development of the internet, social media sites have gained a ubiquitous position in contemporary life. Social media websites such as Facebook and Twitter are not just places to interact with friends and share selfies, they are also forms of online publishing that have successfully overthrown dictatorships, with the example of the Egyptian Revolution. Like the pamphlets and broadsheets used to expose the church in the Reformation, the 21st century's version is social media. The speed and size of the audience on social media allows information to be projected on a global scale and can be used to administer social movements. This method of using social media as a tool for activism is called cyber activism. Cyber activism can be seen in the Egyptian revolution of 2011 when the dictator leadership of President Hosni Mubarak was successfully overthrown by the use of social media. Egypt's 30-year-long dictatorship was highly corrupt and highly secretive, and highly oppressive. Egyptians such as 2005 Nobel Peace Prize awardee Mohamed El Barade felt that enough was enough. El Barade had become one of the leaders of the revolution, calling for justice and democratic reform, using social media as a tool to connect and empower fellow Egyptians and share information. El Barade's openly vocal anti-government stance provoked fellow Egyptians to follow. Bloggers expose government and police wrongdoing, such as the brutal murder of Khaled Said in 2010. In January 2011, Egypt's neighbours Tunisia began to revolt against their president, partaking in an online social movement that led to protesting. From this, Egyptians were able to connect with their neighbours through social media and share information, strategies, ideas and motivation. Activist Noir Nem posted a YouTube video online urging Egyptians to join the activists on the street. She said, If you can take pictures, take pictures. If you can use Twitter, send tweets. If you can blog, blog from the street. Messages such as these united protesters and allowed the Egyptian revolution to reach an enormous online following through social media use. The hashtag 25Jan catapulted the events into global news. Due to the sheer volume of the social media use regarding the Egyptian revolution, 
President Mubarak cut off internet and mobile coverage in Egypt. However, this led to a Strazen effect, with Mubarak's attempt to silencing citizens really receiving global attention. When Mubarak finally resigned, Egyptians rejoiced, commending one another in a group effort in overthrowing the dictatorship and strengthening the collective Egyptian identity.